Sorry about the glare. I should have brought sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most meaningful uh, uh, career event of my of my career, award career event of, of, of my life, and. Um, Right now, it's just kind of like a real blur because everything's going so quickly. But uh, I always wanted to write music, and um, I always wanted to touch people with what I did, to be recognized by my country for my body of work and for what I've accomplished in my lifetime, is um, is beyond humbling. It's really it's an interesting experience. I mean, as a as a Canadian who came to Canada uh, rather late in life. Uh, it's the culmination of everything that I love about Canada. The fact that it is a country that embraces uh, uh, immigrants and it is a country that believes in diversity. And to be amongst these people is a huge thing. This is a country that, you know, that my parents emigrated to in 1948. Penniless Holocaust survivors whose lives, are, you know, had pretty much been decimated. They, they lost all their relatives in the war. They came here with nothing. They came to Toronto. My dad started his own little slipper factory on Adelaide Street West in the 50s. 317 Adelaide Street West, which happens to be the building that the Walk of Fame office is in. Like, talk about serendipity, right? Like, that's like, whoa! I'm excited, and this is, you know, it's, it's a great honor for me, but, but I, I feel like that, that, that the Walk of Fame is, is more about, it's, it's more about the legacy of the Walk of Fame, and it's about, it's about inspiring the youth of Canada to not be afraid to, to not be afraid to dream big. You see all these great Canadians that did a lot, uh, were inspirational to a lot of people, and uh, to have your name and, and your star beside them is pretty, pretty cool.